If y'all did not see, yesterday we got some of our first information about the ball player or creative player and just kind of road to the show in general for MLB The Show 21. And today I'm just going to kind of quickly go over and give my thoughts on the information and questions that we had answered in that video that they posted on Twitter. But real quick before we hop into this video, if y'all could do me a favor, leave a like, subscribe to the channel for some more MLB The Show content, and in the comment section below, let me know ways you think Road to the Show can be improved and just features and things you want to see from Road to the Show. And this isn't necessarily what I want to see most, but I really would like to see tattoos added i want to be able to add tattoos to my creative player i feel like it's weird that you know i'm gonna be 20 the year 2020 we can't add tattoos to our creative player and they're going to be going more in depth about all this information the ball player creative player and i think some road to the show stuff in today's feature premiere 3 3 p.m pacific on sds's uh twitch youtube and i believe facebook and after that later tonight or either first thing tomorrow i'll have a video recapping everything that they talked about in the feature premiere here is the first question will your road to the show in diamond dynasty ball player be able to have 99 in all categories can you get all categories to 99 yes can you do it at the same time? No. I understand that for Diamond Dynasty, they probably don't want you having 99 everything, 99 in every single category. But for Road to the Show, I personally wish that we had at least the option to be able to get all of our attributes to 99 at the same time. I feel like it'd be cool to have the option so it's there if you want to do it. But if you don't like that or you don't want that to be a thing, you wouldn't have to have it on. And what would y'all think about that? Like an option for Road to the Show only, not Diamond Dynasty creative player but for your road to the show save specifically having the option to be able to have 99 everything all at one time now the second question will you be able to get drafted in the first round in road to the show no but we added a new narrative experience around your road to the show player and that is centralized on your ball player i don't really understand this to be honest for me i feel like it makes the showcase games and scout day stuff and all of that I feel like it just makes it kind of irrelevant, not even having a chance to be able to be drafted in the first round. Uh, it, it just makes it seem like it really doesn't matter how I do, you know? I feel like in previous years, and I'm hoping not this one, it just seems like I always get drafted by like the same two or three teams. And I'm hoping that's not the case this year. But uh, I, I really feel like if you just absolutely go off and just destroy and all of the showcase stuff, you should be able to get drafted in the first round and honestly even number one overall i feel like that would be a really fun thing to try to work towards and a reason to do well is you know trying to be that number one overall draft pick uh but with all that being said i'm just i'm interested to hear more about the i guess overall new narrative experience that ramon was talking about in general uh, i haven't been a huge fan of road to the show and, and kind of the storyline or whatever you want to call it but I'm interested to see how it's changed, what's new, and how it's been improved this year. Here is the third question. How will we upgrade different attributes? You can increase them by just playing roles to the show. You can also increase them by perks, archetype items, and equipment. To me, the way that everything was worded, it kind of seems like you won't be able to level your creative player outside a road to the show right now previously your creative player has not been shared with diamond dynasty and road to the show so you leveled your road to the show guy up separately and then your diamond dynasty you did stuff within dd you have missions and stuff to level them up but the way ramon was saying everything it kind of seems like you're going to be doing everything to level up your creative player in road to the show and then just be able to use him in diamond dynasty and if that is the case i'm not really sure how i would feel about that again maybe i'm just looking too much into the wording uh but if my creative player can be used i guess both in road to the show and diamond dynasty which is the case this year i feel like there should be ways for me to level them up in both modes you know both road to the show and diamond dynasty and not be forced to play one or the other because personally i like to mix it up you know i like to play some road to the show i like to play some diamond dynasty and i think it'd be cool to just be able to progress and level up your player and his attributes in both modes so i'm not really sure how i would feel if road to the show was the only thing 
but again i feel like we just need to actually see the game and have them go more in depth i'm sure we'll learn more about it in the future premiere and i'm hoping to hear more about the perk system the archetype items and the equipment for mlb 21. the fourth question is can we request trades on demand in road to the show not on demand but you can choose which team drafts your ball player if you'd like now i assume this will be the same as the past few years where your agent will call you a couple times during the season and during the off season and just ask if you're happy with your current current situation and i think that's fine uh but personally this is one of those things where I would like to at least be able to just request a trade whenever I want. Maybe not every day. Maybe have a cool down. I don't know if anybody uh, watching this video remembers, but like in MLB 06 The Show, you had an interactions tab, I'm pretty sure. And one of the interactions was request a trade. And you could do that like every 30 or every 60 days. And you saw a countdown. You could check exactly when the next time you could ask it was. I wish that was a thing, right? Maybe a 30-day cooldown once a month you can ask to be traded. I would like that. Uh, I just personally don't like it where the game seems to be only letting me request a trade when they decide, right? The game is programmed to have my agent call me. And that is the only time that I can kind of request a trade. And I'm just not a huge fan of that. The fifth question coming up now. Can we use our two-way ball player as a pitcher and then in the field in the same game? No, your role for the game will be defined before you play that game. However, you can choose specific loadouts for every situation. This question, I believe, was only talking about Diamond Dynasty. And I'm personally okay with this, right? I like that you can't pitch your creative player. And then once you're done pitching with him in like a ranked seasons game, put him in the field after he's done. I like that. Uh, I understand why some people would want to be able to do that. I think it'd be cool. But overall, just for how the game works, I personally think it's good that you can't. And I'm just curious, when Ramon said that you can choose specific loadouts for every situation, will my two-way player be able to play every position, or how many secondary positions will I be able to have? Question number six. Can you use your road to the show player in Diamond Dynasty after they retire? Yes, since your new ball player doesn't actually age out of anything but roll to the show, you can use them all over the place, and you can start a new career whenever you'd like. I feel like this one is pretty straightforward, right? Uh, I think it'd be just kind of terrible if you put hundreds upon hundreds of hours into a road to the show, into a creative player, and once you retire and road to the show, you can never use them again. You know, they're introducing a feature where you can share this player between road to the show, between Diamond Dynasty, and it would kind of suck if once you retired, you just lose everything, so I, I like that. The seventh and final question that they discussed is... Now that ball players can pitch as well as hit, will the hitting and pitching caps in Diamond Dynasty be lower to compensate? Your ball player's attribute potential is determined by two factors, loadouts and general progress. We'll elaborate on this and much more in the feature premiere. All I really have to say about this one is I'm curious to see what the limitations are that he mentions with loadouts. And I think he said progress. I think he said the limitations come with the loadouts and the progress. And I'm just curious to see what those limitations are and i think he said we should be learning more about that in the future premiere today so overall i'm just excited for the future premiere and learning more about all of this stuff i know there wasn't a ton of information in this video uh but at least to me it always feels good to learn you know at least just a little bit about the game and kind of what we can expect from the new features and the new game and i wanted to make this video for you guys just in case you know maybe some of y'all don't have twitter or you didn't see this on twitter i hope you enjoyed this video i'm definitely curious to see what you guys say in the comment section about how you think road to the show can be improved what you want to see and just your overall thoughts on what we know so far and i'm super super curious to see the comments on the recap video just to see how everyone's feeling about the creative player ball player two-way type of dude uh all that stuff going on in road to the show this year i'm definitely anxious and excited to hear more information and see what everybody thinks about that and again the feature premiere is at 3 p.m pacific today going to be on sds's twitch facebook and youtube channel simultaneously and uh, it should be going more in depth about all this information that we were learning today also probably some new information and as always a legend reveal and i should have a video recap and everything later tonight like i said or first thing tomorrow so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and i'll see you next time